What you doing? Well, I, I can't get no money, brother. You think it's hard for artists to blow up out here in LA? No, and yeah. I feel like niggas blow up off of like this and this shit, you feel me? But that's why they don't make it nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like if a nigga just come off different from the jump, like they gonna be like, like all oh, this shit bunk, they ain't gonna fuck with it. But like if a nigga just, just come out this like, oh fuck this, fuck that, woot you woot, main street, woot you nigga gonna do numbers, you feel me? I feel like that's why niggas don't make it out here. Like unless you got like certain niggas, you feel me, that know how to really, you feel me, make music and go viral with it. No, definitely the gang banging rap. I feel like it's like two distinct sounds down here. Oh, it, it be like how niggas talk, like where they from. Like mm -hmm. different hoods got like the way they talk different, you feel me? Like we got our old talk, like the six O's talk different, nine O's talk different, East Coast talk different, you feel me? Like the Hoovers, they talk different, like everybody talk different, ain't like, you feel me? That's why I feel like some people like more extra out. Like a lot of niggas, they like real extra out, you feel me? But like that's cause how they hood is, you feel me? And it'd be niggas that's calm, laid back, cause they OGs is calm and laid back and they don't be on them. So they just mm. like, you know what I'm saying? Not definitely, when I picked them all, y'all got a lot of different little ways to distinct yourself from other pussets and other shit like that. Yeah. And y'all vernacular is crazy, like y'all. The way y'all be just talking the words, how y'all be mixing shit up and re-rocking that shit hella easily, it's like, it'd be crazy. Niggas from LA is dope, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it be really like niggas from like other hoods, like even hoods that I'm not cool with personally. Like, they really be dope, you feel me? And I'm not gonna dock that for no nigga. Like, if you dope, you dope. Like, they gonna let you know, you feel me? LA, like the gang shit, bro, I promise you, I be the reason niggas do not blow up. Yo, if LA was like a place like Atlanta or something, like, even though Atlanta got gangs and shit, like, I feel like if LA was a place like Atlanta, like, where all them niggas hustle and, like, put each other on, you feel me? Like, out here, it's not like that, you feel me? It ain't even just my hood. It's, like, a lot of hoods everywhere, you feel me? Like, a lot of niggas, like, they'll give you a gun to tell you to go kill something before they put you on the plate, you feel me? Like, but that's how that shit be, like, LA, like, different, you feel me, from, like, other places. Like, it's, it really be the gang shit, though. Like, that's really, like, what it is. Like, what? So I feel like the gang stuff just unavoidable for y'all in general. Nah, it's, it's just so structured in such a way. Y'all nah. even created gangs for niggas who's not in gangs, not affiliates. Yeah, but, nah, it's avoidable, bro. It's just, now, now it's a trend. Like, now it's a trend in gang bang. Like, at first, I don't give a fuck nobody. I'm not, I'm not that old. I just turned 20. I'm not that old, you feel me? But, like... My generation, like under, it's like a trend in game bang. Like even the generation above me, it's a trend. You feel me? But I feel like in the '90s and like early 2000s, shit, like regular 2000s, I feel like that shit wasn't a trend. You feel me? It's like really like, oh, like what am my daddy doing this or my big brother doing this? You feel me? Like my mom out here, like, like you feel me? But it's avoidable. You feel me? It's just now. I feel like it's Instagram. Everybody. Oh, like wooty woo throwing up gang signs and shit, you feel me? All that dissing and shit, that's what makes you go viral. So all the young niggas gonna be like, oh, that's cool, wooty woo, I don't wanna do that with you, end up getting put on somewhere. 90% of my friends that I went to school with, they all ended up gang banging. I swear to God, like, it's a couple, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, my boy Keon, my boy Keon that play basketball, dope as shit in basketball. But he, he never chose to gang bang, you feel me? Like, he like a stand up nigga, you feel me? Like, real cool, he gonna hold himself down. But, he, you feel me? That's just. It's like, you feel me? Like, he chose to play basketball. He got college offices and everything. He go to college and shit. So it's like, it's avoidable, bro. It's just now it's a trend. Like, everybody want to do it. The thing that kind of caught me by surprise, being from the Bay Area, you usually from, you'll be from like the hood that you like grew up type shit. I didn't know, like, out here, my person may not have necessarily grew up in that area. Oh, but they could get put on to the hood type shit. They down for the cause. That's kind of first thing that kind of caught me by surprise a little bit. That's how I could see what you say, like, it's a trend type shit. Niggas might think, oh, these hoods popping. I might want to be from there. I like what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, that, and, and that's another thing. Like, like, like if you got a big name, like for example, I like the neighbors, like the rolling car from mm -hmm. 30 to 9, They all are big. They all got names. You feel me? They all got hoods. You feel me? So it's like once these get to doing all this and wooty woo, you feel me? Like, of course the next nigga gonna want to do it. Like the young nigga, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's like I don't know. That shit like different. What do you think? Draw the kids in though, cause. I feel like back in the day it was like more unavoidable type shit. Like you say it's avoidable, but what do you think is really drawing them in? Who they hang around, the internet. Mm. You feel me? Like you got like niggas that go viral for like talking about drilling. You feel me? Like talk about oh 30 stick this. You get saying they see they hear little Dirk talk about that shit, switches and all that, you feel me? Like now like I don't give a fuck nobody say. I feel like in the nineties and shit, it wasn't four year olds, three year olds running around talking about Glocks and shit. Now you see videos of babies talking about switches, BD, like you get what I'm saying? No, that's a fact. Like, what draw them in is, is what they see, you feel me? And that's all they see right now, cause that's what's popping, that's what's booming. And then all the, like, the shit, like what the niggas get put on in like areas they didn't grow up in, I feel like that could be like for niggas who they hang around, you feel me? And then like you said, like bigger hood, like bigger influence, you feel me? We not a big hood, we a small hood, you feel me? So it's like, like we like on the east side, like we get a lot of influence, but like gang-wise, like 
Like we just think of LA gangs, like we not like a gang that you just that just come up oh like first, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, I think from an out of town perspective, the first hoods I think of out here is probably neighborhood, Hoover, yeah, Hoover. Bloods. The bloods as you just think of it as in general, just all bloods entirely. It's like what you really get to know with those like different cards and shit. Like it's the gangster cards, the mafia card, this was the neighborhood card, the roller cards, like different shit. So this is a mafia car, right? Yeah. Oh, that's the baby of this shit. The baby playing on main street. This is doggy on main street. This is one of them guys on the hood. This one of them guys. He passed away a year ago. This was couple, it was just a year ago, a couple days ago. Well, New Year's is his death anniversary. Man, it's crazy as the scene the other day, it was like at a warehouse party. Some people had passed away downtown on New Year's. Yeah, that's crazy. I think I think like like eight like eight females got shot. That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Like that. Oh, bro, my, bro, stop lying, man. How dangerous is it going to parties out in LA? Hey, just, I'm not gonna lie. Like even if you don't game bang, that shit dangerous for sure. Somebody that do game bang gonna be there. You feel me? And then more likely it's social media. Everybody will be posting whoop whoop. All it gonna take is somebody to see it. Somebody to really be on that. Like all right, like I want. You feel me? A lot of times they just go. They be kids shooting. A lot of times it be, it be kids shooting 13, 14, 15, 16. It be kids shooting, so you, they, they don't even know what they doing, they just going over there shooting. And I, I feel like that's just how everything we get ahead. You feel me? It, it's sad though, I ain't gonna lie. Like, that's really sad though. Like, rest everybody that, that didn't gave me, like non affiliate, and you lost, you lost your life. I see Marcus does that's really sad. That's how I'm not gonna lie, especially if you a female, because that seemed to be the trend. Like, don't know niggas be getting hit. You feel me? It's a straight female, like eight females. That's crazy, I ain't gonna lie. It's a difference between shooting at somebody and trying to kill somebody. It's two different things. A lot the majority of things you be shooting at people don't be trying to kill them. So it's like that's how innocent people, biases, all that shit get in the way, you feel me? Cause it's, if you really want somebody to do it, you feel me? But they, they don't be on that. They be doing scary shit, like shooting from the car, doing all kind of scary shit, hitting everybody except what they shooting at. You get what I'm saying? For the record, we don't do none of that. Just for the record. But them people that do, y'all are crazy. <laughs>